Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. We're trying to progress on and push on, get some deliveries done. We've had a few, I'd say, pretty steady episodes. Um, so it's probably today is the day that we uh, get another truck roll. But it's, it's been going well. We're trying to get some things done. We are on our way to uh, complete well, 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 if I remember rightly. Uh, we drove past it on the way in here, so we've got to go back and uh, find the route. Now, we haven't triggered well, 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 but we know it's up there, and I know what we need for it to be delivered. I don't tend to do a lot of uh, hindsight deliveries, but this is one that we can, because well, I just forgot to head up there when I was touring the map. Now, I've been getting some nice feedback on the series lately, which is great. Because I do have this recorded a little bit ahead. But it's been nice to get feedback. People are, seem to be enjoying it, even with my style. I've even been told to uh, stop apologising for my play style. But I, I will always do that, because it's just not what I do. But I pr appreciate the support on the series. Especially from, you know, fellow snow runners. Let's get this through here. Now, one of the suggestions that as to why I'm having more trouble with my fleet style than maybe I'm used to is that the the tires might be a little bit narrower than um, the ones I've used for, and that could be the case. Uh, we've switched them out a few times, but hopefully, uh, hopefully we've got the jets on and we'll be good now. Uh, another has commented that they, they they also sort of feel like there's a little bit of a an increase to risk when in hard mode, and I, I say it jokingly, and I'm sure they're saying it jokingly as well because there, there no doubt isn't. It's just the way it feels. But they, uh, yeah, they tend to have more incidents when they're on hard mode than on normal. I think it's because you're just more conscious conscious of it, and, and awareness is there. Like you you. Tr you you try more to not have things happen, so when things happen, you, you notice it more. I think that's that's what it is. Uh, a mental state of awareness. Anyway, so this is well, well, well. Let's turn our diff off before I break it. So we'll accept it, we'll start tracking it. Will it let me... That was, oh, that's because I got me forwards. Look, look at what you're doing, sir. And there we are. 2,000 for that. Excellent. So, I'll just turn my engine off. I need to decide. Sorry, I can't get my words out today. I need to decide on what we're doing. Because our remaining jobs are pretty much over here at the logistics base. And solid foundations. And then there's more fuel. Obviously, we've got the Chicago Trail and Threatening Incident. I really don't like that one. Right, an incident there, and we also have the uh, the job that puts out oil down there as well. But what we're going to go for is to try and get this logistics base set up. So that's winter stores, I believe, or. More fuel. Not that one. More fuel. Because we should be able to do that with a fleet star. Come down to the drilling site. Pick up some fuel. And then up to the forester's house with it. Since we'd only have to come down where we've been. Down through this horrible muddy bit. And back up. We can bring the land over out if we uh, start to run out of fuel. So I think that's what we're going to go with. That is our, our big one for today, I think. We'll see how it goes. I don't want to rush things. I rush way too much. I feel like I rush myself because I feel like I'm not making progress. We need to take it easy. Just relax. 
Because when I play on my other saves, I don't have the issues I have. And none of my issues are based around hard mode things like fuel and trailers and money, really. Making bad decisions, bad choices. Also losing track on exactly what it is I'm supposed to be doing because we have so many saves and so many series up and running. But with two snow runners and an expeditions, it's quite easy to lose track of uh, what you were planning on doing. But the, uh, the fleet star should be good for this. As always, I hope you're all well. Thank you for continuing to support the series. Like I said, I do enjoy it. It's a good job, really. We've got a few, a few hundred more episodes to go, to say the least. Probably about a thousand. <laughs> If you do enjoy Snow Runner, why not come and check us out over on Twitch as well? Try and stream over there three times a week with Snow Runner if I can. At the point of uh, recording this one, we're getting ready to uh, get, our, get our log deliveries done in Alaska so we can move on to Time Air. drop the gear sometimes, get a little bit more traction. Now this could be a fun bit with the Fleet Star. So we can do a little bit of high range. Every chance we just grind to a halt. There will be a bit of winch in here today. What's going on with our flashy terrain today? I don't know what that's about. Lightens playing up. What are we doing on that one? Just fiddle about with the gearbox a bit, try and wake it up. If we can get up and over here as well. As long as we don't snag on the rock, we should be pretty good. Oh. 
a little bit too much force there. <laughs> Trundling along. That is Larry. Let's see if we can get up and through the trees. Should be a pretty easy way through somewhere. It's the mud the other side that causes the trouble. There it is. Two in, and we want two, two. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> This, this is what happens when you flip between the two. Stop buying it. When we need to load it in manually. My advice to anyone playing the game is do not run two separate <laughs> style saves alongside each other. The confusion is real. Platform, thank you very much. Yeah, we don't be wasting the money. We just spent two days uh, trying to build the money back up. Anyone else noticed that on hard mode, it allowed me to run those jobs more than you're supposed to as well. It wasn't until afterwards I realised that we'd already done the food run, and then we were able to do the food runs again. Which uh, is a little bit strange. Unless we just didn't get paid, but I'm sure we did. Because sometimes it's quite a few days between recordings. I forget what we do, even just the day before. Especially if, like I say, we've done two other Snowrunner streams on Twitch and an Expedition stream on YouTube. We do tend to get confused. stay out of the mud as we go around. See if we can go high range for a bit. There's a nice little dip. Try and avoid that. deep though. Just winch ourselves. Let's not waste too much fuel. Shouldn't be too much of a challenge, he says, jinxing it. Get back 
up there again. Now we've got these probably bricks here. What have we got here? Oh, vehicle spare. Are they vehicle parts? I think they are. Since I'm here, is <laughs> come on, be kind. Okay, if we unpack. Oh, it's not actually connected to us, is it? There we go. If we unpack the cargo, we stick it in the back of ours. Hopefully. Might be easier to deliver. Oh, I'm proper on a naughty bit there. See what our anchor does here for us. Uh, hopefully, we'll be all right. We might have to switch that out. It'd be another waste of uh, about five grand. But this this wider wider based crane is. Uh, Causing one or two more issues than it's solving. Let's see if that will let us pack that way. Awesome. And for this, it needs to go to the logistics base. I hate going around the top. I hate it. Going through the bottom is mud. Oh, dear. We'll go... I want to go around. Okay. I'm going to take the chicken's way. And uh, I'm going to try and go around the bottom. So I may... Yeah, I may need to try and get some fuel over here. I get down to oh if I get down to where the drill is try and bring the uh, the Land Rover over with the fuel in it because we don't have a lot of fuel spread out I don't think I think we're going to bring the Kodiak through weren't we Or maybe. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Because I've got to bring the service trailer through anyway. Perhaps we'll tow the oil tanker down this way as well. Because then eventually that's going to want to go up near the logging site when we do logging. So I might do that. If we've got to bring stuff over, we might as well bring it all over. Plus that'll be over here for when we have other deliveries that come this way later on. So let's just park this up. We'll jump in the White Western. And we will detach that for a for a sec.
because I can bring the Kodiak through and have that as fuel here. Should have really there. Uh, should have fueled up off it. Didn't pay attention, did I? I looked to see if I needed to repair, and I didn't pay attention to the fuel gauge. Although we again, we could have filled up off the other thing. Let's just do that. Let's stop. Let's stop fannying around. Get your head in the game, sir. Sort of stop and check what tyres I had on, because I forget. Tyres are alright. Yeah, we're not going to try and pull the service trailer and take the uh, the spare vehicle parts with the fleet. I, I know I'll get that stuck. That will cause me way more issues than I want to have to deal with. Fuel trailer's keen to get where we're going. Let me just check if I'm going to... We need to sit down here, don't we? I was just wondering whether to go through the farm. And pull that all down or just try and <laughs> should we go along the no right we'll, we'll try and come along there we'll go through the farm Come to think of it, see again, I didn't think, did I? I could have just bought the service trailer. I didn't necessarily need to host the fuel that way. So we'll drop the fuel off near the login, I think. Near the farm. Sorry, I'm trying to think a little bit of strategy here. Because I know I'm going to have to come through here with some equipment. So maybe, maybe I actually drop the fuel off at the farm. Yeah, I, I, I forget about the fuel and the parts in these service trailers. So I forget about, you know, taking it out and, and using it for us. Despite the fact that the fuel that we've got has been taken out of trailers for us to, to use for us. I'll just park the fuel trailer up here. We can move it later if I need to. It's sort of part way there, isn't it? Then we'll try not to roll as we go. <laughs> go along our dreaded route now. Especially since it's now going to get dark.
Well, I'll try. I'll go through the trees now. I can't remember whereabouts the trees were that I normally go through. So it's there, it's a bit further along. We should be able to sneak through. I'd love a drone for scouting routes. That'd be great. have a lot of silence here for concentration. our rocks, try not to clip our rocks because that's what will make us bounce. <laughs> We're not going to take my preferred route along the riverbed or the riverbank because we'll end up in the river. You've got the White Western's a good little truck in it. I know I still use the uh, the fleet stuff probably more than some would think I should, but it's a personal preference thing. Now where did I? Oh, I did part the fleet. Honestly, my memory is so bad. So what we'll do is we'll refuel the fleet star. I'll deliver the parts. We'll then take the service trailer near it. But there is the, the, the solid foundations, I believe. Don't want to do that. The solid foundations, I believe is getting concrete blocks or cement blocks and I think once we get that service point set up we can then get them out of there so we might do that since we obviously haven't got a bed or anything on the back of the White Western there is a trailer up there but we might use the fleet staff to try and do it and then we refuel the fleet star off of this service station. Oh no, because we need to get that up and running first. Hmm. I know there's some metal beams, but I think they're for something else. We probably should have used the metal beams for delivering to the drill site. We, we used other metal beams for that. I don't know. Use them for what you like, to be fair, but they are scattered about. Honestly, everything 
that I know went out of the window as soon as we hit hard mode start. Normally I get going, I'm like, right, we're going to get this, this, this. We know we need to get this one from here, this is here, this is on this map. We'll bring that there, that'll do this. But for this series, all that has, has left my brain as soon as I, I get going. Forget everything. This isn't too bad a go, and we could even unpack the uh, the load. But I don't think the weight difference on vehicle parts is that great compared to maybe some of the others. And again, normally this sort of angle wouldn't concern me, but at the minute, anything over like 25 degrees, and we're we're risking the tipping. I think. That's how it feels. Because sometimes I think, well, I know which route I would normally take. But every time I've risked one of my normal routes, something terrible has happened. <laughs> Perhaps we could have pulled it. It's, it's not this bit, it's the, the mud at the other end where things get nasty. Anyway, we can, we can trigger this and I'll be able to see what it is I need here. told me by uh, just one concrete slab and I'm perhaps it's on there no that is metal posts on there so we just need a concrete slab yeah so we're gonna need to get the server station up and running because if not the closest one is there I'm sure you can get a concrete slab from there So we'll bring the service trailer and we'll try and refuel everything and then deliver it in. We can pull the metal beams out that no doubt we'll need for something else with the White Western Star. And hopefully load up the slabs or the slab onto uh, the Fleet Star. Blow horn, blow that down. It will. That will sort of push through it a little bit. I don't do that very often, but you can. Do it sometimes on the streams. Right. So. Go back to the White Western. Going to take that same route. Not the most efficient, but at the minute I just need to be safe. Not being safe has been costly. It's not a race, it's just getting jobs done.
downside is that we are churning up the track. I'm now thinking, actually, I don't think we can get slabs from this service, but we'll see. That's drilling parts, if I remember right. Which I don't think I've ever used. I think you get this service station up front and then we never use it. But we're not doing this for us. The, you know, we're, <laughs> we're sorting the the region out for the people of the region, aren't we? It's not just just about me. There are plenty, air, plenty of areas off that dirty track where you can get through. I just wasn't confident that the fleet still wouldn't, wouldn't bounce and roll as I went through it when we came through last time. Come on, girl, get up the hill. Same as I'm pretty sure you can shoot right through them woods get to where you want to go. You just come out there and bounce, bounce across quite happily. On normal mode, I'd recommend it. On hard mode, <laughs> at your own risk. Well, there's so many, so many ways of avoiding the mud. But I, I absolutely hate coming around the top of this map. The amount of times I've lost my spare vehicle parts coming around the top of this map. So we are going to refuel ourselves, refuel the police star. I know there's loads left in there. But there we go. Five grand. So that's a nice job done. Drilling operation and maintained. All set now, thank you. You get whatever parts you need to repair the tower directly from our warehouse. So if I can just back myself out and we will be trying to pull those metal beams out for what they're used for. Now I think I've done everything I need metal beams for on this map. So I may try and take them through to uh, Island Lake because we have um, these telephone poles that wire metal beams. That is a, a job that we've got. That's not like a preemptive one because I think it is power lines. There it is. Metal beams there. I think we've got metal beams somewhere else, maybe? I'm not sure. I think on that sideboard trailer. It's saying it's empty, but there's metal beams on that as well, I believe. Unless we took them out when I was doing the other job, I might have done that because I forget things. But I'm just going to switch truck. Yeah, all there is is spare drilling parts, which we do not need. So we need to head and get ourselves a concrete slab or 
the solid foundation. Oh, is it on the is it on the floor? Is it the one where there's one on the floor here? Is that it? Ooh. We might be alright then. See, I forget until I see it. <laughs> That's why you recommended to have the crane on the job. So you, you could go and buy one or get one and then deliver it. Obviously that'd be a little bit redundant if there's one there. The only concern again is gonna be fuel, but if we need to, we'll get the uh the land over out and then do stuff. See, off-road is always so much easier. Honestly, I know what I'm doing. I'm just not putting a very good showcase on for doing what I need to do. Again, when we come up with a slab, we probably won't use the high risk. Although they don't look high risk, it seems as soon as we've got a little bit of weight in the fleet stash, she wants to roll over. But off the track, it's usually the better way. It's just being willing to, to try it is sometimes the, the thing. Yeah, we could, we could go along the uh, the riverbed <laughs> again, but we won't. Yeah, this this one doesn't. If I remember, this this isn't here until we activate the job. I may be wrong. I never notice it until I activate the job. And every time I restart, I always forget to have a little look and see if this is there. Like I say, I I completely forgotten about it. And it was probably a few days ago that I redid this on um, my console save. And you might be thinking, well, if you redid it, then why why are you not remembering it? 
on my console save, I'm run, <laughs> running around with an ANK, doing lots of fun stuff. So we've got an ANK and a pay style on that save. Sold everything, sold all the DLC, and just buying up different trucks that I never use. So that that playthrough is completely different, and that's what I did. I wanted one that's not like the Twitch series that I play, and one that's not like this. So, uh, in my wisdom, the other week, start again. Just using other trucks. But that's also let allow me to have a little feel for trucks that may come later on, or I may be able to buy later on. They'll know I'll have a better idea on what I'd like. But at the minute, I'm thinking anything that doesn't allow you to fit a crane, it's, it's a bit of a pointless truck in hard mode. You, you want to be able to load. If not, you always got to pull a second truck to come and load you. So I guess that's where the limit is as well, or the limitation is. You know, that's why trucks like the Fleet Star, I think, are good because you can put a crane on it, you can put a bed on it, and you can pull a trailer with it. It's just that it can be a bit slow getting once you've got everything on it and as we're seeing the risk of uh, rolling seems quite high and you can do the same with the white western but it's just that we've got the the low hitch on that so we can pull the, the flatbed trailers and the sideboard trailers the semi ones so we can pull them when we find them and we put that crane on to, to load and unload as well. And then with like upcoming trucks that we've got coming our way, there's the ANK 38 non civilian. So that's just, I mean, it's a, it's a good truck. I really like it. I prefer the civilian because you can do a few more things with it. But that comes with just the bed on the back, and I don't think you can pull a trailer with it as well. I'm not certain on that. Oh, I might be lying there. But either way, you have to have a second truck to load it. Um, but we get the Royal, which is a decent truck. That will allow us to put a crane and a bed on, but you can't tow a trailer with it. And then we have, as I've been using a lot in the in the Twitch series. In the, in the streams, the uh, the Derry Longhorn. We, we get that once we get to Alaska. And that's an absolute beast. I really like it, and I've, I've, as I was using it, I was like, why don't I see more people using it? It does struggle uphill with a load. That does seem to be a thing for it. Should we take one of our riskier routes, see what we can do? Uh, maybe not that one. Maybe not that one. Let's not risk that one. I thought it was further along. We'll just go around this tree. Yeah, so it does have that, that sort of limitation to it. It does struggle there, and it doesn't have a crane. But it can pull some weight. On, on open road and through some rough terrain as well. Honestly, every every vehicle has its its swings and roundabouts, its ups and downs, pros and cons. They're all there. It's just find on what works for you. line. Come on. It's getting a bit churned up now.
So there's another three grand. So we're doing all right. This is this is going quite nice. Going quite nice at the minute. I think I'm going to try and just get back to the farm to make sure we can get some fuel in the fleet star. So we'll do that. And then we'll try and plan out what's coming next. Well, I, I, we've got a few more jobs to do here. We've got the, the fuel delivery coming out of the, the quarry to the warehouse. Plus to do. Like I say, we've got to go and collect up the the fuel that's spilled out on the map. And then there's another one that puts some fuel elsewhere. What about that triggers? I forget where that is. We have to try and find where that one triggers. Let's have a look. And then once uh, once we've sort of sort of cleared up in here, we'll um, head into Island Lakes. We've already done our bridges. Uh, the next big job in Island Lakes is to clear out the um, old drills. We need to clear out the old drills, uh, dispose of that. And then there's a few other a few other things in there we can finish off doing. We need to deliver the uh, container to the broken antenna so we can fix that. There's quite a bit to do there. It does have a relative now that we've laid everything down as well. It has a relatively easy um, delivery challenge as well. We can run that, try and earn some money. All good things to come, provided everything goes well. The oil delivery or the oil pickups, the fuel pickups, they are for me anyway. I find them a challenge. How we'll do them, I'm not sure. I often do them just two at a time, but that's always on normal mode. I'm not worried about when that you. So how will how I'll approach it this time? I'm not 100. percent Just as best as I can, I guess that'll be the answer. To that how am I going to do it the best way I can? Whatever works. say not where I want to be I know what I want to do I just seem to be bad at executing at the minute here for a bit just to try and be safe poor fleet star's got PTSD going this way <laughs> so, uh, I get PTSD day now coming down this way I'm tempted to just hoss along it right now but I know, in trying to prove that you can do it, it will roll again. <laughs> ah, dear.
change. For anyone that doesn't know about that easy route for your trucks, there it is. Rather than trying to negotiate rocks and bridges and what have you, it's much, much easier to just go around. Check the time once we've uh, got some fuel. Probably not the best place that I've left that actually, but it's, it's not the worst. It's, it's this side of where I want to be, so I know we've got stuff coming up that's going to put us this way. So we shall refuel. Beautiful. Right, so what is the time? It's, ooh. Not really got time to do much. So I think we'll just start to bring oh, the uh, Western down. Let's try and if we can. Once we get it moving, we'll be good. Does it not want to move with me? This thing sort of sunk in the mud a bit, hasn't it? And it's going to sink again before I get it <laughs> attached. It's being proper noisy. Wow. Okay. Guess I'd have been better off just uh, doing something else with the fleet stuff. We don't desperately need. It would just be nice if we could have the stuff off the map. Trailer does not want to budge in the slightest. Is there? I've got a winch point at all. Damn. Right. No. Oh, let's get it moving. Let's get that damn trailer moving. It's time. Oh, it's gone past time anyway. Let's turn the engine off. So that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I might start the next episode trying to get that 
out or I might just jump to the fleet star and do something else for the day and worry about that later. We don't necessarily need it. It's just handy because it's there and it's going to save some other traveling about. But if it's going to use up all my fuel getting it out, then we'll uh, we'll do something else. But that was that was pretty productive. Got a few jobs done back on the, the road to progression. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed that one, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. There's always comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.